If asked in interview, do you know what is the importance of having retention cell in the standard cell package? Do you know how to use it during the front end and back end design stages? Do you know how many types of retention cells are used in VLSI? Let's start our journey to know all the answers. Hey guys, welcome back to the computer screen and in today's episode, we are going to discuss the below points. Power management methods. Next, we will introduce the retention concept. Then we will explicitly discuss about the retention cell also known as T latch or retention flop. Then we will cover the topics PSO and SRPG. We will later go in the nomenclature abbreviation detail. Next, we will talk about the simulation and verification stage for the retention cell. Next, we will talk about the physical design stage for the retention cell. Next, we will talk about two types of retention cell that is balloon type and master slave type. Finally, we will summarize everything that we have discussed. That's the menu for today. Without any further delay, let's begin. Power management methods. Here in this slide, we will show you uh, infographics to which you will be aware of uh, different power management methods that are used in modern day chip making. Here goes our power management and the different method starts here. First, in chip design, we can use multiple threshold voltages and this threshold voltage variation comes in the standard cell nomenclature like UHVT, HVT, all those nomenclatures nowadays you will find out fine inside any standard, standard cell package. Multiple VDDs. Because of the various power domains, you will uh, get multiple VDD variations of in standard cells. Power gating is a technique by which we are power. Also, we do the log gating for the power management. Next, another important way of power management is dynamic voltage scaling. We have another similar scaling called the dynamic scaling, which is used for power management. Next, we have retention block or cell that we use chip design. We use the isolation cell also for the power management purpose. We do use the power switch cell in the power management. For various VDD domains, for exchange of signals, we use the layer cell. So it also comes under the power management. So these are the various methods that we use for power management of a chip, especially in a chip where we have a PMU that is a power management unit. We will see many of these methods present there in a modern day IC. So we are done with this particular slide. Let's move on to the next slide. Introduction to the retention concept. When a device or circuit is inactive for a long period of time, a snooze button helps save the battery. Nowadays, we use mostly handle devices, right? And inside that, saving the battery is a very, very important factor because once we charge a handle device, we will expect it to run for a longer time. Memories or resistors are not capable of keeping their information while the device off. When a particular power domain inside a chip switched off, it is bound to lose its memory. The obvious consequence that we experience in modern day power domains. And here is a photograph for the various power domains. You can see here, this is the power management block. And here it is uh, power domain 1 with the V1, power domain 2 with VDD2 and power domain 3 with VDD3. So this block diagram, you can see we have three different power domains, PD1, PD2 and PD3, which is controlled by the power management block. So once the chip is in operation, say PD2 is not being used. So the power management block will send an instruction to switch off for its inactive period and in this situation is going to lose its memory now this is a challenging situation and how we tackle it we are coming to that point to save such scenarios special retention cells have been adopted in most of the commercial standard cell libraries coming from the foundries like tsmc umc gf etc to support the state retention power getting also abbreviated srp Retention cells store the last state before power off of a flop inside the power domain. So from the right hand side picture, it is clear to you if we can switch off one particular power domain that the last states will be saved in the retention cells. 
Thus, it allows the system to continue its operation from the last known state and faster wake up of our blockers. This is a step mostly found in the handle devices where one particular power domain is switched off while it is inactive. And once it wakes up from that sleep state, it can pick up values from the last known state very fast from the detention cells. And this way, the device can operate very fast. The only drawback is the retention mode consumes a little more current than the powered off mode. So we have gone through the introduction here and we are done with this particular slide. So let's move on to the slide. Retention cell or T latch or retention flops. These are the different names of the same thing. And here in this slide, we are going to talk about all of this. Retention cell has a flip flop and a state saving latch. Here is the block diagram of a retention cell and see as we describe dynamically. Supply of the flip-flop is switchable and the latch is always on. The latch associated with it will retain the prior state when it is powered off. The multiplexer allows us to save and restore the logic in latch. A retention cell consists of a flip-flop and a save latch and has two control signals save and restore. The save signal indicates when the data should be saved in the latch which is just before switching off the power of the particular power domain. Restore signal tells when the data stored in the latch should be restored which is when the domain gets back to the active state. ESO and SRPG under power getting comes the power shutoff that is PSO where unutilized blocks are switched off completely to stop any leakage current. PSO is triggered for any block whenever it goes to standby mode. It should be verified along with the working RTL ensuring that the entire chip operates flawlessly whenever any such powered off block is turned on again. State Retention Power Getting SRPG To implement ESO, state retention cells are bare necessary to store existing state of the blocks before it shuts down. During synthesis, isolation cell, retention cell, level shifter cell and always on cells are inserted automatically based on the CPF or UPF description. So we are done with the power shutoff that is PSO and state retention power getting that is SRPG in this slide. So let's move on to the next slide. Simulation and verification stage. Here in this slide, we'll talk about the uh, placing of the retention cell to the simulation and verifications because throughout the design, the presence of the retention cell has to be properly implemented to thorough checkup. So here we go. When the verification environment launches test cases during simulation, different power states are entered. The modules in the supply network propagate their state throughout the network. It generates the power management signals such as Enable the power switches and of the isolation cell. Save the state in the retention cell that is to store the register values before they are shutting off. C. Restore from the state retention cells to retrieve register values once the power domain is switched back on. This information is coded during the CPF or UPF file creation. Monitors inside each module such as power switches, isolation and retention record and log the sequence of events during the front-end simulation. After simulation, the logged events are automatically evaluated and checked. Any activity found inside a deactivated domain is immediately reported. This way, in the front-end part, the uh, retention cells are properly and thoroughly placed and checked. We are done with this particular slide. So let's move on to the next slide. Physical design stage. Here in this slide, we will talk about the implementation of the retention cell in the physical design part of the chip design. While the system is created, power design is coded in UPF or CPF. Power switches to change domain supply states are created. Power domains are described and connected to the supply network. After the four plan completion, all its specification are dumped onto a design exchange format that is def file. The inputs to the placement tool are the gate level netlist, load plan def file, power intent file, timing module files and reference library files. Sanity checks are performed on the floor plan file and gate level netlist. 
the power intent file is checked and any violation between the floor plan data, get level net list and power intent are corrected at this stage. The floor plan information is then loaded onto the backend tool. Next, the power intent is omitted which adds the isolation cell, retention cells and enable level shifter and power multiplexer and the backend versions that is the layout version of these cells are picked up from the standard cell library. So that was all about the implementation of the retention cell in the physical design stage. We're done here. Let's move on to the next slide. Types of retention cell latch. The retention cell can be of two types. The first one is a balloon latch and second one known as a master slave latch. In the upcoming slides, we will get familiar with these two types of retention cells. We're done with this particular slide. Let's move on to the next. Slide. Balloon type retention cell. In a balloon type retention register, the retained value is held in a shadow or additional latch, often called the balloon latch and usually powered by the cash retention supply. This retention supply keyword is from the CPA for the e. A balloon type retention register typically has additional controls to transfer data from a storage element into the balloon latch, also known as the save stage. And the transfer data from the balloon latch to the storage element also called the restore page. The ports to control the save and restore pins of the balloon style retention registers needs to be available in the design, describe and implement this type of retention registers. The balloon element is not in the functional data path of the register. That was all about the balloon type retention cell and we are done with this particular slide. So let's move on. Master slave type retention. Let us see what is a master slave type. A master or a slave alive retention register. The retained value is held in the master slave latch and also powered by the retention. This is a keyword from the CPA for EPA. In this case, the retention element is in the functional data path of the register. This is a very much striking difference with the previous slide. If you remember this part. A master or a slave ally type retention register typically does not have additional save or restore controls as the storage element is the same as the retention element. Additional controls on the register may park the register into a quiescent state and protect some of the internal circuitry during the power down state and thus retention state is maintained. The restore in such registers typically happen upon power up again owing to the storage element being the same as the retention element. Thus, this style of registers may not specify save and or, or restore signals but may specify a retention condition that could take the register in and out of a retention state. So, this was all about the master slave type retentions. We are done with this particular slide. So, let's move on. Summary. Retention cell is an integral part of the present standard cell library and used in the ASIC design today. It is a must for the chips where there are multiple power domains are existing. In the power aware RTL design, retention cell is equipped to the UPF or CPF description. There are two major types of retention cell known as balloon type and master slave type. So we have summarized our entire discussion here. We are done with this particular slide. So let's move on to the next slide. Thank you very much for watching up to this point and don't forget to like, share and subscribe in case you have some dislikes. Put that as in words in the comment section down below and bye for today.